bewustwording op gang brengen en tegelijkertijd informatie verschaffen over keramiek. Dit is volgens archeoloog Cheryl White en initiatiefnemer van de workshop over keramische identificatie heel erg belangrijk. De redactie sprak de archeoloog vandaag in het gebouw van de Institute of Graduate Studies and Research IGSR, waar het evenement is georganiseerd door het Internationaal Decennium voor Mensen van Afrikaanse Afkomst, DAACS, in samenwerking met de Anton de Kom Universiteit van Suriname en de faculteit der Humaniora. De workshop is volgens de wetenschapper belangrijk omdat keramiek haast overal in Suriname voorkomt. En het belangrijk is om meer kennis op te doen over dit materiaal, maar ook van de vondsten. Ceramics are ubiquitous in Suriname. They're everywhere. They're in the coastal area, they're in the interior. And for us, it's an indication of uh, who lived there, when did they live there, what were they doing there. And so what we've done is if we've invited ladies from the Digital Archaeological Archive of Comparative Slavery. They're based in Washington, D.C. And it's an organization that provides a lot of data and information about archaeological objects um, throughout the Caribbean, um, and, uh, as well as the southeastern U.S., primarily from sites, archaeological sites that are associated with African diaspora people. So whether that be the enslaved, newly free, um, these are, most of these objects um, can be associated with persons from these types of archaeological sites, as well as here in Suriname. And it teaches us about the trade network, international trade network, but also within the country about the exchange and activities that people performed on the landscape here. White zegt verder dat er meer activiteiten georganiseerd zullen worden om de bewustwording op gang te brengen. Voor 4 mei staat het volgende evenement gepland, waarbij een open presentatie voor het publiek zal worden gekoppeld aan het geheel. Well, the workshop, the target group for this workshop are people who actually spend time in the interior, right, in the Binnenlands. So we have representatives from Newmont, the mining company. We have representatives here from SB Bay. We have obviously Attic persons as well. We have um, our archaeologists, Jordan Savannah is here. So we have a broad range of persons at the workshop. And really I wanted this to be for the folks who actually spend time in the interior. What, when you find an object in the ground, what does it mean? What is the indication of it? And also to report it. <laughs> we want people to understand that when they find something in the ground, on the ground surface, that they need to let us know. Because, you know, the, to access the interior is very difficult. And a lot of these organizations spend time in different parts of the country, in the bush proper. So when they see things, we want them to, um, to report it. So one of the products that each participant organization will receive is a... Uh, flipbook that we've designed with the help of the ladies from the US. White geeft aan dat het boek de mensen in hun werk kan helpen om de artefacten die, die zij mogelijk tegenkomen te identificeren en informatie erover te vermelden. Het boek kan door mensen in en buiten Suriname gebruikt worden, omdat het in zowel het Nederlands als Engels zal worden vertaald, besluit White. 